Build a Bear is doing like a new campaign. <gasps> Did you see this? No, but I love Build a Bear. Okay, you're gonna love it even more. Build a Bear uh, is kind of taking a different route this year, and th- they're introducing Build a Bear after dark. And so, if you enter the bear cave, and it, you'll find all of these new characters. You'll see right here. It's an online exclusive Paulette um, chocolate covered strawberry girl set. And Paulette is wearing a sheer robe, I assume, from Adam Is this, f- you Adam can and Eve. access her at Build-A-Bear, the store? I don't really know There's the no details, way. But, There's no way. But basically, no. there she's holding whipped cream and a chocolate colored yeah. covered strawberry. She's okay, wearing, they don't have this in store. She's wearing lingerie. Right. And maybe you. this is just an outfit set sold separately from Build-A-Bear that you could put on a Build-A-Bear. No, because Paulette has a name. By the way, Paulette. Yeah, Paulette. That is a woman of the night. Are you, hold on. Are you buying Paulette or just the outfit? No, you're buying. This is from Bear Cave. This is not no, Build Bear a Bear. No, Bear Cave is the 18 plus version of Build a Bear Workshop. Look Can at you the get top. this in at, at a Build a Bear location? Online Thank exclusive. You. Sorry, I could not. Yeah, it says online exclusive. So, but it is Build a Bear. Yeah, it, it's Build a Bear after dark. I don't like that. You can get um, some things. Just keep it PG. Keep now it I G. can't believe keep they, it G. they they named Paulette, but they didn't name the lion. The lovable lion. Well, you love look you. at Paulette and you're like, that's Paulette. Right. But you did know? they name anyone else? Okay, so Paulette's a rabbit. Uh, and they... No. Barclay. No, Barclay oh, got a name Bar- as well. <laughs> Barclay. So how come all of all of the... All of the sexy lingerie bears have names, but the kind of slob... Slobby men dolls kind of don't. They're just like lovable lion. I can't answer that. I don't know what the so barricade marketing is. Look at the timeless teddy in. satin heart PJs gift set. No name. You kind of and then need in the middle. You, that one is screaming you on the left. You would wear that. Why is that after dark? He's that just, looks like you. That's what I wore to the wedding this weekend. Yeah, you need you need the lovable lion. Yeah, I don't understand why that would be an after dark character. Maybe he's into BDSM. I'm loving on the right up one. I'm loving those cozy PJs. Yeah. That's oh, kind of, I want that one. That's kind of like the Timeless vibe. Teddy. Timeless Teddy is kind of saying, not tonight, honey. Yeah. And that's what I want him. I'm or cozy. Her. Yeah. I love that. Anyways, Ooh, that, that was. I want to go to Build-A-Bear. I we d- should do that. I don't need to go to Build-A-Bear. Build-A-Bear, like, I turned 11 and I was like, oh, wait, this is a scam. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. How would it? I mean. How would it be a scam? It's just a teddy bear. With that you on. make yourself. It's $60. It has your own heart in it. It's $60. You rub that own heart. It's your, you're making it with, with love. You can't make any stuffed animal. I love. You know exactly where it came from. That capitalism is so deep inside your unmedicated body that like you're unable to shake the Build-A-Bear okay, scam. Because I forgot my meds this morning doesn't mean they're not still like in my body. You're right. And that's, I, that's why I woke up drunk on Sunday. Same right. vibe. Right. Exactly. Um, I'm just saying that that's a full marketing ploy that's made for six-year-olds and it affected you the same way like Disney I, affects a Disney adult. No. It's six for life. It's not a scam. You know what it is. A scam is something where it's presented as something that it's not. Build-A-Bear? It's a ripoff, yeah. I'm it's sorry. not a ripoff. I would pay more. Also, you can get a voice box that is custom. For $40, by the way. Okay, good. Oh my God, did I ever tell you about my friend who had the builder voice box at overnight camp no oh my god i who was it who was in the voice her mom and she like was so homesick and her mom worked at the camp oh and the camp would not let her see her mom because they were like bless tyrants. you i think they were tyrants at my overnight camp like they didn't let me call my mom they like jail they like kept you in a jail like if i want to go home let me go home i'm not serving anyone there when I'm miserable and want to go home and I'm trying to run away, you know? But my friend was homesick and her mom worked there and they wouldn't let her see the mom because they thought that would be what's best for her and that made everything worse because she would like see her mom from afar and they would like hold her back and not let her go to her mom, like let her hug her mom, you know? Mm -hmm. It was like worse for her because she could see her mom but not get to her, whereas I couldn't even see my parents. Does that make sense? When you have something- It does. No, I- I went to camp. We couldn't see her. Okay. We didn't. We had no phone or any contact with our parents. We could write letters. Right. Same. Which is like easier than like kind of seeing your mom and not being able to say anything. 
I don't know. Whatever. Well, it wouldn't be fair to you if she could go say hi to her mom. I guess that's a good point. I guess that's a good point. Um, but so her mom had given her like one of those voice box build a bears and she played it. She was my bunk mate. She was on top of me. Every How old was she? We worked for like 13. Every, 17. <laughs> every five seconds I'd be trying to sleep and you'd hear, Hi, my love. You're safe. You're loved. Go to sleep. Oh, you memorized it. It was just like that. And she would be sobbing, shaking the bed, and you would just hear, Hi, my love, on repeat. Anyway, I would go to Build a Bear today and spend, I would spend 500. I'd draw 500 at B&B. Okay, it's weird that they would do these bears because wasn't there like a huge thing with Balenciaga having little sexualized teddy bears just now? Yeah, but they did like a lot worse than that. They had them in BDSM costumes and these ones are wearing fuckable lingerie and robes. That, right. That is not, um, that's Hugh Hefner on the left. Lovable Lion is dressed in Hugh Hefner garb. I don't feel, I already said I don't feel good about build a bear after dark. I don't know what to say. I think that this was like an interesting play. They made it like fun. Is that the Balenciaga one or is that Build a Bear After Dark? Yeah, what did they do? To That's his, or her eyes. There were children in that ad, which made it worse. Right. This is on the Build a Bear website, so I, I don't, don't. I don't care for it. Yeah. I don't care for it. It's novelty, I guess. I marketing, marketing, marketing. It's funny. We're talking about it on the podcast. Yeah. But I guess that's it. It doesn't. It, and you you just said that I you know, would spend I $500 the, I, at I, But I wanted that one in the cozy pajamas. Because that's one that you could just get at the Build-A-Bear store that's non-sexual. Yeah. 